The Sinister Dance of the Gene Stealer Cult, a simulation of a planet inquisitorial report by Zeno's Inquisitor Malapotos, Ordo Zeno's The Galaxy We Inhabit is a dark and perilous realm, teeming with nightmarish entities seeking to extinguish all light and hope. Among these dreaded threats, the Gene Stealer Cult stand as a sinister testament to the insidious machinations of the Zeno species known as Tyranids. This report endeavors to elucidate the intricate process by which a gene stealer cult assimilates an entire planet, subverting its populace to their unholy cause. Drawing from the countless testimonies, ancient records, and exhaustive investigations conducted by the Inquisition, this comprehensive essay shall delve into the dark heart of the cult's modus operandi. The gene stealer cults are clandestine organizations working as unseen puppeteers to subvert unsuspecting planets within the Emperor's domain. Disguised as ordinary civilians, the cultists' true purpose is to breed hybrids with human hosts, a process orchestrated by gene-stealers, Xeno's creatures of profound malevolence. The ensuing hybrid broods serve the cult's higher agenda, to create a psychic link with the Tyranid Hive fleets, enabling these nightmarish entities to invade their new host planet with unrivaled precision and ferocity. The cult's diabolical scheme begins with infiltration. At first, isolated gene stealers, usually guided by a patriarch, slip unnoticed into a target world, seeking to blend with the population inconspicuously. Their psychic cloaking abilities and camouflage render them virtually invisible to any early detection measures. Their primary mission is to infect the first generation hosts, those from which the hybrid lineages will later stem. The gene stealers rely on a horrifying method of infection, the infamous genestealer kiss. Through this insidious act, gene stealers transfer their own genetic material into the unsuspecting host, beginning the process of transforming them into the breeding vessels for the cult. The infected host's physiology alters dramatically, subtly at first, but then more overtly as they become conduits for the unholy hybridization process. As the taint spreads through the host population, the second generation of cultists, known as Brood Brothers, is born. These individuals display traits that are more overtly genestealer like, but they can still pass for human, thus blending seamlessly with the general populace. This intermediate generation serves the cult's aims by disseminating propaganda and subtly nudging the planet's institutions towards chaos and disorder, paving the way for the full scale genestealer cult uprising. At the heart of the gene stealer cult's machinations lie the pure strain hybrids, the direct offspring of the gene stealer patriarch. These creatures bear a more pronounced resemblance to their Xeno's progenitors, exhibiting enhanced physical abilities and formidable psychic prowess. They serve as the enforcers and commanders of the cult's eventual uprising, wielding unparalleled influence over their lesser kin. Gene stealers are astonishingly fast and agile creatures able to cover vast distances in a heartbeat. Their forelong and sinewy limbs grant them unparalleled speed and flexibility, allowing them to dart through terrain and evade enemy fire with ease. When unleashed in combat, they move with a fluid grace that makes them appear like shadows, striking before their foes can even react. Their upper limbs are tipped with razor-sharp claws, capable of effortlessly rending through armor and flesh alike. These fearsome appendages can carve through even the toughest of defenses, making them exceptionally deadly in close quarters combat. Their lower limbs are equipped with vicious talons, further enhancing their lethality and granting them a tenacious grip on any surface. One of the most dreaded weapons in the Gene Stealer's arsenal is its insidious kiss. With a single swift strike, the Gene Stealer can implant its own genetic material into its victim, initiating the process of assimilation and transformation into a brood brother. The victim becomes a willing pawn in the genestealer cult's agenda, forever bound to the will of the brood mind. Gene stealers possess a latent psychic ability that grants them limited telepathy and precognition. While not as potent as the psychic might of their hybrid offspring, they can still sense the emotions and intentions of their prey, allowing them to stalk their targets with eerie accuracy. This telepathic link also enhances their coordination during combat, making them a highly efficient and cohesive fighting force. Gene stealers possess a remarkable ability to adapt rapidly to their environment. Whether it's countering specific weapons, adjusting to environmental hazards, or developing new tactics, their biology allows them to evolve on the fly. 
This makes them incredibly versatile and capable of overcoming various challenges during their deadly assaults. Gene stealers are masters of stealth and camouflage, enabling them to infiltrate enemy lines undetected. Their chitinous exoskeletons and natural coloration provide excellent natural camouflage, while their psychic abilities help them remain unseen even to advanced surveillance systems. As the tendrils of the gene stealer cult reach deeper into the fabric of society, the planet descends into chaos. Manipulating the population's fears and grievances, the cultists sow the seeds of discord, rebellion, and nihilism. Seemingly spontaneous civil unrest and violence grip the world, drawing the unsuspecting attention of local authorities who fail to recognize the puppeteers behind the scenes. With the Brood Brothers and purest rain hybrids firmly entrenched, the cult attains critical mass, leading to the emergence of the Brood Mind. This psychic network connects the hybrids and cultists across the planet, forming a collective consciousness that strengthens their influence and grants them unnerving psychic powers. The brood mind not only enhances their abilities but also allows the genestealers to maintain control over their throng, exerting complete command over their actions. Having paved the way for the impending invasion, the gene stealer cult's ultimate purpose comes to fruition. The psychic link established between the cult and the Tyranid High Fleets enables the Xenos entities to home in on their prey with unparalleled precision. The planet's fate is sealed, and the unstoppable hunger of the Tyranids descends upon it like a wrathful cosmic storm. The planet's end is swift and brutal. The Tyranid High Fleets arrive, unleashing an unrelenting torrent of monstrous bioforms upon the once prosperous world. The Gene Stealer cultists, now openly revealing their true forms, welcome their alien brethren with fervor, embracing the annihilation wrought by the unyielding forces of the Great Devourer. All that remains is a desolate wasteland, bereft of life and light. Detecting a gene stealer is a crucial task for any vigilant inquisitor or imperial authority seeking to protect their world from the sinister machinations of the gene stealer cults. However, identifying these stealthy Xenos infiltrators can be a challenging endeavor. Psychic inquisitors and psychers can sense the psychic presence of gene stealers or their hybrid offspring. Gene stealers emit a distinctive psychic signature due to their connection with the brood mind. Sensing these psychic echoes can provide vital clues regarding their presence. Performing genetic scans on suspicious individuals can help uncover hidden gene stealer taint. Advanced genetic tests may reveal subtle anomalies in the DNA that indicate a gene stealer's influence. Gene stealer infected individuals often exhibit peculiar behavior and emotional detachment. Look for sudden and unexplained shifts in personality, erratic actions, or an excessive focus on a specific cause or ideology. Gene stealer taint can cause subtle changes in physical appearance, such as elongated limbs, sharp nails, or an unusually pale complexion. However, these traits may be more apparent in second- and third-generation hybrids rather than the initial hosts. Keep an eye out for any hidden symbols or secret cult iconography. The gene stealer cults are notorious for disseminating their subtle markings within the society they seek to subvert. Deploying undercover agents and informants within suspicious communities can provide valuable intelligence on gene stealer cult activities. Regular surveillance and monitoring of potential hotspots can help identify signs of infiltration. Utilize specialized diagnostic devices, such as the Astartes Narthesium or other Xenos detection technologies, to scan individuals for signs of infection or subtle mutations. In the absence of advanced technology, traditional purification rituals or purge and fire methods can be employed to root out potential gene stealer cultists. These may involve specific rituals to detect corruption or simply erring on the side of caution by eliminating potential threats. Cooperate with other branches of the Imperium, such as the Adeptus Mechanicus or the Adeptus Arbites, to leverage their expertise in detection and analysis. Collaboration between different Imperial organizations can enhance the chances of detecting gene stealer activities. The Gene Stealer Cult's methodical assimilation of a planet is a testament to the depths of their cunning and the insidiousness of the Xeno species, the Tyranids. This dark tale serves as a stark reminder of the ever-present threats lurking within the galaxy and the vigilance required to protect the Emperor's domain. 
As Zeno's inquisitors, it is our sacred duty to confront and eliminate these nightmarish aberrations, ensuring that humanity's light continues to shine amidst the encroaching darkness. Lest we forget, the price of ignorance is nothing less than extinction. Ignorance is nothing